Why does it taste good? Thank you. Hello family, welcome back to this channel. This is Root and Family channel. I welcome you for clicking on my video. If this is your first time, welcome again. If you are a returning person, I thank you for watching my videos. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. And also, if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss my next videos, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, all my YouTube family, I went for a conference literally we call it revival where we our ministry usually meet and have some kind of like a revival service we have four guest speakers it was a lot oh, my my goodness people listen it was awesome if you are somebody who doesn't go to church you need to go because this we are living in the last days but my testimony to this, I've been going to church for so many times, so many years that I've been in church. But my life was so blessed that I need to give a testimony. This is a testimony, guys. Yes. So let you know that there are good people out there. There are bad people, don't get me wrong. But there are good people, okay? <laughs> there are good people out there. So let me start with the first service. I will start where uh, everything begins. My husband and some of the kids, one of them stayed home because he have, she has exam. So we went for the conference in or the revival at Jacksonville. The Jacksonville, I'm gonna put some pictures of Jacksonville. That's, that's the church there, it's called The Door. The Door Christian Fellowship Church. Yes. It's a beautiful, beautiful building, so beautiful. People are so warm and welcoming. So we were are there for um, two nights, not two nights, two days. Sorry, we are there for two days. We went on Friday and then on Saturday. So Friday night, the first sermon was by Pastor Lamb. That sermon was so touching, people. It was so touching. We were there, we met the, the, the worship time and then also we had um, we got offering time after offering the sound. So the pastor preached about the church and it, this pastor take it in a whole different way. The scripture with the Bible say that Jesus Christ loved the church, how Jesus Christ would sacrifice himself for the church and us, I'll put the scripture there so that you guys can see. This pastor says, some of us have been reading this, and then whenever we go to weddings, they keep saying, Oh, husband, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church. He said this scripture was not about uh, Christ, their husbands loving their wife. It was just an example of how a husband should love their wife. Probably never been a generation with a greater lack of appreciation for the church of Jesus Christ and for what it really means. And so if you'll stick with me, we'll get through this. I'll help you weave through the trees to get the big picture of the forest. And God will help us. Ephesians chapter 5, begin with verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for them, that he might sanctify and cleanse her through the washing of the water by the that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. We are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. But this scripture was literally talking about the church. And it was talking about we, Christians, we are the church. The building is not the church. We are the church. And Jesus Christ loves us as Christians. He really loves us. And also the pastor talked about how we as Christians, we have to be part of the church. You can't just stay home 
and watch TV, you think that that's church. That is not church. You have to have that physical connection with other human beings, other members of the church, build that fellowship. And that's why it pain me so much when I see people leave church because of little issues or something happened. It's just like having husband and wife. Sometimes there are some issues going on, but that doesn't mean you can settle it. You settle the issue and then you move on. Do not stay home and watch TV thinking that that's church. That is not church. And also don't go to church because of other reasons. Go there to the love of Christ. Get a personal connection with Christ because we are the bride. And he's going to come and marry us in the last days. We are living in the last days. Figure out how to do this marriage thing. And you're supposed to be married to Jesus. <laughs> the only way we could even connect with Jesus if we all did it together really hard, right? Then maybe the uh, amalgamation of all of us together, we might be able to get enough great great matter between us to actually have a conversation with Christ. Amen. What are we going to say to Jesus? Uh, how about them nets? <laughs> we are so that someone was so touching i was so blessed about the perspective about we are the church and we are one we cannot say oh i don't need like wake up in the morning say oh this arm i don't need this arm you know how some people can be in church they be like oh i don't want to deal with that person or oh i don't want to hang around those people we can't do that to our body we can't do that because we are all members we are part we are part of the bride that that we're gonna we're gonna be prepared for Christ when He comes. He says, "I'm coming for my bride." We are the church, so we should love each other. Do not, please, do not look at your other church members and thinking like, "Oh, they are not part of me," or "I'm not part of them." We like to bring all those segregation in our churches. That is not healthy. So that someone really, really blessed me. And I, if you want to watch that full version, you can go to their um, YouTube channel. This is the Dog Christian Fellowship Church in Jacksonville. They have it there. That someone was, hmm, I was blessed. There's a lot about the salmon I didn't talk. I don't want this video to be too long. But I was just blessed just knowing that the love that Christ had for the bride, we, the church, we are the church so we as a church we should be together we should love each other we cannot just stay home say oh i don't have to go to church i'll have church at the house no we gotta be involved we have to be part of a community we have to be part of a body of christ we cannot be separated and do not go to church for anybody go to church because you have the love for christ so the other someone that really blessed me was the one um the other pastor preaching was the last sermon, the first and the last sermon. I was really blessed. The last sermon was preached by Pastor. Uh, ooh, what's the name of the pastor again? I'm trying to think. I'll, if I remember the name, I will let you guys know. Let me see if I have. Let, I think I wrote the sermon title here and I'll put the. Pastor Paul Stephen. <laughs> okay, the second part of the, the, the conference was. And the pastor that preached was Pastor. Ooh, let me turn this off. Okay, Pastor so Paul Stephen. Guys, it was another awesome, awesome sermon. He talked about the battle of the mind. The battle of the mind, guys. There is a battle going on. And he he said it's so perfect that we as Christians, we are the ones that allow those battles. It's gonna be there because guess what? The devil is here to kill, steal, and destroy. The moment you you say I'm a I'm a born again Christian, I gave my life to Christ. Guess what? The devil is there to attack. The devil is always there, always. And guess who who are the people the devil is attacking? Christians. The devil is not worried about people who who he already have. 
The devil is not worried about those. He's worried about me and you guys. Those of us that, that say we are Christians, we are living for God, we are the ones the devil is after. So he preached about the battle of the mind, guys. He also emphasizes about light and darkness. He said we are the ones that allow light. He said whenever there is light in your life, darkness disappear. Whenever you start to allow darkness in your life, your light will disappear because those two don't go together. It's just like the cockroaches and the bats. Guess what? They are nocturnal animals. At night, you see them, they are outside. As soon as you turn the light on, hmm, they are gone. 45 minutes, like seven hours back. Uh, but it's uh, worth uh, the effort and the labors. And it's a blessing to be here with you all. And again, kudos to Pastor Land for that great message last night. And I hope you embrace that. You know, I am a pastor, but hearing that sermon uh, stirred me and inspired me, uh, just simply uh, reinforcing. So that was so blessed, guys. And also, he said, We allow the light to be dim or dull. So we have to have the light, guys. Whatever we are doing as Christians, we have to allow the light in our life. And he gave examples of how we can increase the light in our life. The first way is repentance. Give your life to Christ. Turn on the light of Christ in you. And also build on that light. Don't allow that light to get dull. Don't allow that light to get dull. I know people sometimes... We all now we are not perfect. There is no perfect. He said, "Do not forsake the assembly of thy brethren." Yes, we gotta be in church. Like I said before, it's not just watching on TV. You gotta build that relationship with other people, people that are gonna be your your mother, your father, your brother and sisters. We are all in this together. Help each other, you know. And also, we can build our lights by praying. Prayer, prayer is very good. Prayer, prayer, build that connection with God, personal relationship with God. Prayers, reading your Bible. Those are the things that help the light. The more you read the Bible, the more you know, the more you build that personal relationship with Christ. Even me, I'm getting that area where I need to pick up my pace in reading the Bible and prayer. So I, I was so blessed with those two sermons. So there are, the other sermons were great too. But those are the two that really touched me and I was like, I have to share with you guys on my page. Yes, let's, let's dim the darkness in our lives and allow light. There are so many ways we can build light in our lives. Just are doing more of godly things. You know, that one will help. The more you go to church, the more you read the Bible, the more you pray, that's how your Christian life grows. But if you don't pray, you don't read the Bible, you don't go to church, you think you are a Christian, the, the devil can sneak in little, little darkness in you, you won't even notice. It starts with little, little things, little, little things. By the time you know you're gone, you don't even know how the darkness overcome you. So enough of this sermon that touched me and want to bless you guys. Let me tell you guys the real good news. The real thing that happened.
salmon, the service or the program. My husband said, I need to change oil on my car. I got to go somewhere. I said, okay. Drop us at the mall. So the girls wanted to go to the mall and hang around while he do his oil change. So we are there. The girls, they go do their little shopping. I'll put some footage for you guys to see. I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video what I got and then my husband went and did the change oil change and come back and pick us up on our way home we haven't even left Jacksonville we just had a loud sound our tire was flat guys we had a flat tire and it was about to rain the rain was hanging right there as soon as we pulled over less than few minutes this good samaritan i'm gonna put put a video of him this good samaritan just stopped and came to help my husband to see what we can do to change this tire they look in the truck there was no jack nothing in there my husband said he took it out to fix uh, something on his trailer so now there is no jack in there nothing this guy went to his car got his tools came he tried to loose the nuts it does the, the the bolt he was i don't know how you call that uh, instrument to loose the bolts on the tire it did not fit we are standing there again by the time we noticed three cars already packed everybody coming to help us people let me tell you guys there are good people out there there are good people out there. I know there are bad people, don't get me wrong, but there are good people out there. These guys were on the floor changing tires. It was wet. I can't believe it. I was like, this is God. Only God can do something like this. We literally had more than three people helping at the same time some of them even told us that oh i'm i live very close but i'm gonna go to my house and see if i can find something because anyone bring their their tool it doesn't work on the car and then somebody else is gonna say oh i'll be back i'm gonna go bring something this other guy said give me five minutes i'll be right back and indeed he went and came back i was touched i was like there are still good people out there and thank you bye Man, they just changed this year. Yeah. We got our spare tire and we are on our way back. Now let me show you guys what I got. When the kids went to Forever 21 and that stuff, I went to bed back then. Beyond I got me some stuff. They were having some sale going on. And this is like a hand soap for the kitchen. I like the lemon flavor. I love bad. Uh, uh, what is it? Bath body works. I don't know why I always say bed bath and beyond. This is bath body and uh, body works. Okay. The next thing I bought as they see have this wrap, guys. This is awesome. Look at this. This is the pumpkin vanilla cream. Yeah, pumpkin vanilla cream. Oh my god. It smells so good. We are into the fall season, guys. Look, 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 look. I love this. 
I'm gonna light this up and then my my whole house is gonna be smelling like fall I love the smell and I think this one was ten dollars off they were selling it for $24.99 so I got this for like $14.99 I know this will last me for some time but I really love the smell especially now we are in the fall season so why not bring a little bit of fall smell in the house I love it and then this is the other thing I got look at it this is some plugins yeah I like my house to so smell delicious smell good so they had this on sale these are the little um, things you put in there they said five for I think five was yeah five four for twenty dollar oh no five five for twenty dollars so I got five of them I had different different flavors some of them I'm not even sure of their flavors but this one says fresh fall morning this one says um, sugar sugar sticker doodle <laughs> I don't know what that is but hey <laughs> this is for this one is say um, apple and honey that sounds good vanilla and this one is blackberry and basil that's it that is all I got from this store just to show you guys my own little shopping that I did today yeah so guys there are good people out there I said let me just share that with my YouTube family God bless you I thank you so much for watching this video and let's continue to be good let's continue to be good out there when you see somebody on the roadside if you can help please help them today I felt like people are out there this they, they have good hearts you know they have good hearts I know sometimes especially in America we are in a rush I gotta run I gotta run but you never know what you can do you save somebody like today we were literally helped otherwise that rain was gonna pour on us it was gonna rain on us flat tire with all those kids but I really really thank God that God sent us angels basically they are angels that saved us thank you guys so much for watching my video I love you guys I have some other videos coming up I have some trailer box that arrived I'm gonna bring that video for you guys soon yes I have some trailer up box I don't know what is in there but me and you guys gonna find out okay love you